Hi, Dr. Brian Thornburg. What can you do to keep your child healthy at school this year? So this is the lull week in my practice. School started last week, started this week. So nobody's sick, everybody's having a good time. Their reunion uh, with their friends and not a lot of homework yet. They're still rested from the summer. Uh, next week, the tiredness will set in. Uh, the mundanity of school will start. Um, the newness will be gone. So the stress will come on and they'll start to get sick. So what can you do to help boost their immune system to keep them healthy? and you don't have to come see me. So this is not intended to treat, this is just for informational purposes only. Contact your own physician if you have any medical questions for your child. Um, so most of the population is has inadequate intake of uh, most essential vitamins and minerals. For instance, the Oregon State University Linus Pauling Institute states that 94% of Americans have an inadequate daily intake of vitamin D, 50% for magnesium, 44% for calcium. So you can see that these are like real basic vitamins and minerals that we need and we're just inadequate in taking them. Um, even more so for pediatrics because they don't eat great. We, you know, generally adults hopefully eat a little bit better than the kids, but the kids notoriously don't eat great. So they need to take supplements. Absolutely 100% need to take supplements. We want to have them optimally performing. We want their immune system strong. And we know that by being deficient in those, especially those specific vitamins and minerals, that will lead to um, uh, decreased uh, immune function. So. Look at the list below. I provided the list that I tell my parents in my practice uh, to take and uh, get those, get those, and that'll help you keep your child, your family healthy this school season. Thanks, hit that like button for more practical common sense uh, pediatric information from Father of Eight. Thanks, bye-bye.